Now to this story for you new tonight, EMTs usually work to save lives, but they can have the same health problems anyone else has. Yeah, this is pretty amazing. A local MT out working his ambulance shift in the Weathersfield area had a stroke on the job last month. Channel 3's Dennis House joins us with how this man's colleagues came to the rescue. Dennis. Aaron and Mark, this stroke, like many, can come on quickly without warning, but for one person who is trained to deal with emergencies, at his worst time of his life, he was in the right place at the right time. I, myself, sorry, suffered a stroke inches away from dying. Chris Cabral could hardly get the words out today. Last month, he suffered a stroke while on the job. We were watching TV basically in the ambulance on an iPad and we got a call and some things happened. He recognized that I wasn't right. The he Cabral is referring to is his partner, Raymond Berwick. I noticed that he wasn't really moving the way he was supposed to be, like, you know, to get on the radio and, or to drive the truck. So I looked over at him and he kind of dropped his phone. And um, I was like, hey man, are you okay? And then he turned to me and I realized that uh, his, he had the facial droop. Berwick rushed Cabral to Hartford Hospital. Within an hour I was in surgery <clears throat> and I had a full right dissection of my carotid artery. And most people don't make it but I'm standing here today. Time is of the essence, says Hartford Hospital's Dr. Mark Alberts. When stroke, we say time is brain. And that's true because every minute somebody is having a stroke, they lose two million nerve cells. So time really is brain. Cabral is on the road to recovery, but still fights back tears when he thinks of the day he nearly died. Yeah, it's hard to think about. It just is. Chris Cabral was in uniform today, but he will not be back on the job until late winter.